know. I had the shot and I just fell. Your shoelace broke. It didn't just break. The shoelace has been eaten away by acid. Sorry, Bo. This is one week in tourney you're watching from bleachers. Oh, man, that's great. I didn't even get to finish one game. Is it bad? Looks like a serious sprain. Could I have a word, Coach Tremblay? Better get some ice on that. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks. I'll go get the nurse. So you sure somebody skunked us? This pink tinge is unmistakable. Both shoelaces have been treated with phenic acid. And from the splatters, I'd say whoever did this was left-handed. Kyle, are you all right? Ashley, Bo's the one who got hurt. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Help me get him to the side. Lines. Hey, you take the free throw for me, man. Well, you can do it. I thought Kyle gags on free throws. That's jokes. He's still the best player on the team. The Hornets have had nothing but trouble this year. And now this? But Miss Stratton. Budget is tight. I'm faced with making a choice. And the Hornets are making that choice very simple. We've just had a bit of bad luck. But if the Hornets have any more mishaps this weekend, I'll be forced to divert the school's athletic funds to badminton. Badminton? Next up, the Coyotes take on the Remington High Rams. Kyle, smile. Tyson Ferry's watching you. Who cares? Who cares? He's only like the biggest players agent in the NBA. And he's here to see you. Your whole future could like be decided today. Yeah, well, uh, name my features in basketball. Kyle, what are you talking about? You got named most valuable player two years in a row. Ashley, you're supposed to be assistant equipment manager. And your point would be? The job entails certain obligations and responsibilities to the team as a whole. Uh, I guess you're busy. No, Kyle! Wash these, and while you're at it, try brushing up on your team's spirit. Sure, really would you hurry up? The guys are gonna get out of the shower any second now. I'm looking at evidence. You're gonna be looking at a lot more than that if you don't hurry up. Surely, we've got trouble. I've heard Stratman telling Coach Stromblay that if anything else goes wrong with the team, she's gonna cut basketball and replace it with badminton. Badminton. The laces on every pair of Hornets running shoes have been affected. Whoever applied the phenic acid knew how to dilute it to a safe concentration. Who do these belong to? Um, those are Kyle's. Interesting. His shoes are the only ones that haven't been tampered with. Oh, wait a minute. Bart, what did you mean by if anything else goes wrong? Well, some of the guys think we're mm, jinxed. Ashley! There. If I miss any swats, you can lick them off. Since when did this dressing room go unisex? Where's Kyle? Ashley's in the shower. I'll just say hi. You're not finished your game prep. The team needs new shoelaces. You're the one who looks after shoelaces? What's it to you, geek girl? So how long has Ashley been considered a jinx? From the moment she appointed herself Team Groupie. The infamous itching powder incident. We were beating these jerks by four points. They denied planning the powder. How's the other one not affected? You can't blame itching powder on a jinx. Well, maybe not. Watch this. You were leading the Coyotes by 11 points. And then the lights go out. Itching powder, power failure, and sabotage shoelaces. Each time when the Hornets were winning, there's definitely a pattern. Yeah, 
Ashley was always hanging around. Oh, Ashley's not a jinx. But she may be a guardian angel. What do you mean? With both the shoes and the itching powder, someone took great care to make sure that Kyle was exempted. Whoa. To Ashley, my everything now and forever, Kyle. I can't believe that. Don't. Ashley wrote it to herself. It's her handwriting. Oh, she's left-handed. <laughs> she's seriously deranged. She's also academically challenged. 23% on her science exam. What's that? Uh, it's her diary. It's evidence. Fascinating. She's obsessed with basketball players. It seems she's been rejected by every, quote, unappreciative, second-rate troll on the team. Well, I mean, you'd, you'd think she gets to understand no after a while. Everyone's rejected her, but Kyle. So what, you, you think she's trying to destroy our team because she couldn't get a date? gym bag. Kyle, my love for you is like a fuzzy rabbit. My love for you is like a fluffy kitten. My love for you okay, is... Okay, okay, we get the drift. And this. So when Ashley put electronics in Kyle's locker to frame them? Where the electronics were in Kyle's locker because he used them to sabotage the ball. No way. There is no way. He had nothing to do with this. So, think about it. Ashley's simply not capable of constructing a sophisticated electronic device. Kyle's into fly model airplanes. I could explain why he has these components. That also means he has the skill to rig the basketball device. Also, he's left-handed. And he's the only member of the team who hasn't been affected by these dirty tricks. And that's the game. The Reddington High Rams defeat the Sussex Hornets 83-72. Honey, stop selling yourself short. Mom. Tyson Perry's right over there. Go talk to him. No. What am I supposed to say to him? Don't be so shy. You'll think of something Mom, to say. Mom, stop telling what to do. OK, darling. He's only trying to help. Man, talk about pressure. Kyle's mom could crush bricks with her ambition for him. No wonder he hates basketball. He doesn't hate basketball. Then how would you explain his refusal to meet the agent? Because he's not the type of guy that goes around blowing his own horn. But he is incredibly bright. His science marks are consistently above 95. And hey, he's been named one of the top 100 young athletes of the year. He's been offered full scholarships to two different schools. I'll be lucky to get a student loan. His mother owns Reddington Chemicals Apply Corporation.
Reddington Chemical develops and lab tests industrial products. Hey, it's in the Fortune 500. Kyle's gonna be rich someday whether he makes it in the NBA or not. That's what I've been trying to tell you. He plays because he loves the game. Of course, his family business would give him access to the things he'd need to sabotage the team. Surely, if he hated basketball that much, why wouldn't he just quit? Because then he'd have to face his mother. But if there's no team to play on, then she can't blame him for failing. He's off the hook. Whatever happened to benefit of the doubt? How about a plant on the team? You won't be disappointed, sir. Get out there for the pregame drill. Winchester Coyotes. It's only sabotage. Look, in regular play, the scoring machine. It could be his cover. Stuck to the floor. So did Ryan's and Stan's. Did yours have? No. Friction glue. Colorless, odorless. It was activated when a player's rubber soles heated up to a specific temperature. So when the pace of the game picked up, the glue stopped us dead in our tracks. Your science monitor. Could you give me a microscope? No problem. It's a distinct compound bonded by metallic crystals and polymers. Got it. Thermal grip. An industrial super glue used to secure bolts in high temperature environments. And it's patented by Reddington Chemical Supply. Okay. Let's go talk to Kyle. You actually think I'd try to hurt the team? Fine. I quit. I didn't expect that. Congratulations. We just nuked the Sussex Hornets. Hey, Kyle, don't sweat it, man. It happens. Will the following people please report to the front office? Mike Kuzumbo. Hey, Ashley. Talk to the hand, loser. With Kyle's mother so ambitious and domineering, quitting just shouldn't be an option. Something's wrong. Yeah, you. Kyle? Hey, Mom. I quit the team. Uh, well, don't worry, sweetie. There's so much more to life than basketball. Hmm? Don't worry, sweetie. Yep. Oh, no. What's wrong? Oh, I've made a terrible mistake. Kyle's mother is trying to shut down the team. What? You saw the look of relief on her face when Kyle told her he'd quit the team. As head of Reddington Chemical, Allison would have the means to construct all of the devices. And I'm willing to bet she's left-handed. It's hereditary. She had an opportunity, too. She was at every single game selling hot dogs. Plus, she does a team laundry, so that's how the itching powder could have gotten into the uniforms. Except for Kyle's. She wouldn't risk hurting her own son. I'm 
sorry for what I said. But don't quit. It's too late. It's all over. I called Tyson Ferry. You what? Yeah. He's coming to watch our next game. He's coming to see you. Yeah. <laughs> to see me choke again. You didn't quit just because of me and Shirley. You were using us as an excuse. I can't do it, Bo. I mean, I'm fine when I'm just playing. I'm in the zone. But when everybody's watching me, waiting for me to miss a free throw, I just can't do it. You want a surefire way to sing free throws? I'll let you in on a little secret. Mrs. Chisholm, guess what? Kyle changed his mind. He's gonna play in the game. Isn't that great? Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> Let's clear the gym for a dinner break, folks. We start the elimination round in one hour. Wiring the hoop. She's planning to send an electrical charge through it. I think we're about to witness the most spectacular stroke of bad luck yet. Looks like you're a little busy. wanted to kill the Hornets, and I want to know why. Basketball has been wonderful for building Kyle's character, but he has to prepare for running a corporation. I can't let him squander his intellectual gifts at some second-rate university. So you decided to wreck his options. I had to do it. So why did you pretend to be his biggest fan if you only wanted him to quit the team? Because I... Because... I'm afraid. I'm afraid of losing him. He's all I've got. So you did all this just so he wouldn't be mad at you? Yes. We have to tell Kyle. Oh, no. Please. I'll do anything. How about this? You back off on Kyle, and we won't tell him a thing. Deal? I promise. The score's right out of 91. Three seconds remaining. Kyle Chisholm is at the line for the Hornets. This is it. If he chokes. He won't. I let him in on one of my game secrets. You can do it, Kyle. I believe in you.
it's quite simple, actually. You just imagine that if you don't make the shot, you have to go with Ashley. 